From our studios at historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. Starting off our work week here. Hope you all had a very happy Thanksgiving, and I'm thankful to have the CEO of the Bedell Family YMCA, Andrew Fisher, here with me today. And Andrew, it's always a treat to have you come in. Oh, thanks for having me, Jeff. It's a pleasure, my friend. Uh, let's talk about, uh, you know, here we are, it's holidays time. We've passed Thanksgiving, and uh, and I know the right now the Bedell Y has certain practices that, uh, because of what the governor says and what we're supposed to do, uh, that you're currently doing, yeah, and, and that affects some programming. But sure, yeah. Uh, so what are we doing right now? Yeah. So in light of the the recent proclamation with the governor, um, really we've had to scale down some of our services, and that's what everybody is dealing with right now. Is the bigger picture health crisis is what we're yeah. where, uh, our country is trying to manage in here locally as well. And so right now, a number of our programs are suspended at this point in time. Uh, we do have operations open for people to utilize facilities, both the Dell Family YMCA and Milford HLPC. Uh, we have upgraded to a masking requirement within the facility. Uh, really, masks are to be worn uh, anytime within the facility other than when you're on a piece of equipment, yeah. um, doing vigorous exercise such as cardio. Um, even if you're walking, we're recommending wearing your mask. Um, Really, it's just uh, out of the abundance of caution to allow us to continue to keep facilities open and those services available to people. And so swimming is still available to people. We're doing that on a registration uh, only basis. That way, make sure people are getting what they need in terms of lanes. We do have fitness classes available as well. Those have been scaled down to allow for social distancing and, yeah. and making those things work. And so we're grateful to be able to be open and provide the opportunity to our members and our guests and uh, as we've heard uh, time and time again, mental health is a big part of uh, the issues that our country is facing with this crisis. And yeah. exercise is one of the, uh, the biggest things to combat that. Now we're far from an exercise only uh, organization, but it is something that people do recognize us for. And so uh, we encourage people to utilize our facilities. Um, we have a whole host of new cleaning uh, measures put in place and, and feel good about the, the safety pieces that we've implemented. Yeah, and while I've been in there, I mean, everybody's, you know, spraying the equipment prior, wiping it down after, and, and you know, the, the wearing the mask until you get on the elliptical or whatever it is, not a big deal. And right. and when you separate yourself, and you've got the equipment separated as yeah. well. And that was one of the things that we did uh, early in the, in the COVID piece was rearrange our facility to be able to accommodate social distancing, give spaces, uh, that we previously didn't have and uh, it's just been a, a change for all and uh, we like uh, many people every time that the governor comes on TV uh, we listen intently and realize that there's going to be some change ahead of us and we will adjust to that as needed yeah exactly um, well here we are again like I say we're at the holidays now and uh, there's people you know for gift giving and so forth and you mentioned it, the, the mental wellness uh, that comes along with being active and so forth. I think it's a great time to consider giving the gift of uh, health, mental and physical uh, with the membership to the Y. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we have a number of ways that you can do that as a person. Uh, you can get gift certificates. We do that um, depending on when a person is comfortable of coming in to do that. We've had a number of people um, drop their membership, unfortunately, during this process. and have cited I will be back, but um, I would prefer to do it on the back end of COVID as opposed to during the middle of it. Right. And uh, so we realize that's an option for people, um, gift certificate of when they feel comfortable. Uh, the other piece is we're accepting uh, day passes for those people that are, are maybe um, wanting to try it out before they join. Yeah. Um, those, are, those are options. We do short-term memberships for uh, anyone who maybe is gonna be here for a month or maybe a little longer. Uh, maybe those college students that are going to be back in town for two months. Uh, that's something that's an option for them. But then also uh, memberships ongoing uh, is something that we're always working with. And so in early January, we'll have a new member campaign coming out. Uh, as we've done uh, over the past couple of years, this year will look different as um, obviously circumstances are different. But uh, we are optimistic with the different news pieces that come out. On a daily basis, that there's going to be some exciting things down the road for the YMCA as well as the, the Okoboji area. Yeah, and I'm glad, glad you brought, brought up scholarships. scholarships. 
wasn't that long ago I was talking to a, a young lady and and I'd just been to the Y and and uh, she said, oh, I would love to be a member of the Y. I just, I don't know if I can afford it. And I said, that's why there's scholarships. And I said, just have to go in and, and talk to somebody at the Y and you bring in some materials, some background, so forth. And I said, there are opportunities. That's why we have fundraisers to have scholarships. Yeah, absolutely. Financial assistance is um, needed more now than ever in, in some circumstances. And uh, we're happy to be able to accommodate those. We thank our generous donors for making that possible in terms of supporting the YMCA during this time of the year. Um, I would uh, like to thank our community publicly just to say thank you for um, showing the YMCA um, some love in terms of, of giving during a time when uh, those are challenging economic pieces for so many. Uh, it's really helped us stabilize a little bit as an organization and continue to be able to provide those financial assistance opportunities. Yes. And so um, our mantra for all continues even through this, um, which has been a difficult time for us. Uh, we, we are optimistic, as I said, that there are better times ahead for all of us in the Okaboji area in general, um, hoping to have a, a summer um, like we're used to, yeah, so to speak. Indeed, and uh, this is an area that likes to prevail and we stick together, mm -hmm. we come together, and uh, I, I'm certain of the fact that when that horizon hits us, uh, we'll bounce back and, and we'll be a very vibrant area again. Yeah, and so I know tomorrow's Giving Tuesday, and that's a, that's a huge day for nonprofits like us. Um, we're, we're asking people to consider a generous gift towards the end of the year as that's happening and uh, you know you can we'd love to have your support either be through Camp Foster or the Bedell Family YMCA uh, you can visit any of our web, web pages Camp Foster or Bedell Family YMCA and uh, it'll be clearly marked how you can support us if you so choose whether it be through COVID relief whether it be through our scholarship campaign as you had mentioned uh, but you know whether it's us uh, or whoever, I would encourage anybody that can support your local charities. We're very blessed here in the Iowa Great Lakes to have so many uh, meaningful nonprofits that yeah. make our area very unique. And uh, I think it's been well publicized. They all need your help. And so yeah. um, I would just encourage anybody who can to give. Yeah, and we've uh, certainly, so many of the nonprofits uh, over the past year have not been able to have their annual fundraisers and, and from uh, various ways that they have sustained themselves over the years evaporated this year. So yeah, whatever nonprofit you can help, uh, it's greatly appreciated. Yeah, whether it's your nonprofit, your church. Um, these are organizations that depend on in-person contacts and the work that they do is about um, services. And some of those have been very challenged by the pandemic. And so um, help them hang in there and be back uh, stronger than ever in 2021. Very good. Any yeah. other wide news that we need to be abreast of here? You know, I would just encourage everybody to um, stay up to date with us. Check out our social media platforms. Facebook uh, is going to be where the place where you're going to see update announcements. We're hopeful that um, things continue to get better. A proclamation may come to an end here in, in mid-December and we can resume some different services. Um, no matter what happens, we're going to continue to provide services. Uh, to the local community, whether it be health and wellness, uh, food, child care, any of those things. We're, we're going to find a way to do it. Uh, it may not be quite the same as it used yeah. to be, but uh, as we had talked about earlier, um, this too shall pass. Yes, indeed. The, the sunny horizon is on its way, and uh, we have to wait it out and improvise until then. That's all there is to Yeah, no, absolutely. Thank you for giving us a voice and so many others during this whole... Uh, and unique here yeah. in 2020. <laughs> unique is a, that's a soft word for it. <laughs> yeah. All right, we want to thank Andrew Fisher for being here with us. Of course, he is the uh, CEO of the Bedell Family YMCA, the YMCA of the Okabojis. We thank him for joining us. We thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake. Pure Fishing in Spirit Lake, Last Touch Painting and Cleaning providing interior, exterior, house painting and professional cleaning services in Spirit Lake. Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman and Erica Wachholz. 
Duckies Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake. Bank Midwest, Dream Big, Plan Wisely, Live Well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Attorney Bethany Brands at Brands Law Office in Spirit Lake. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. By Michael Thorson with Farm Bureau Insurance in Spirit Lake. <laughs>